What is up everyone, Ducky O'Brien here, and today I'll be bringing you guys an overview of my first automation production line that I made. I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty crappy right now, I'm gonna make a version 2.0 with a lot of improvements. But for now, I would like to give you guys an overview because I think this will help you guys get an idea of how to use automation. And hopefully you guys take the ideas that you see here and improve on it and make your own. So I'm doing this for the event right now for the automation update so if you check here it's the automated mass production protocol and there's three sets of materials that you need to put in the first is compound then it's aluminum then it's aluminum alloy or aluminium however you want to say it and it's fairly easy uh so you can either use scrap or you can use thumpers the automated re resource harvesters but basically the first step is you're going to somehow get the resource and then you're going to put it into an arm I'm using scrap right now because I have a lot. And then the arms will grab it and then dump it in. So they grab it from the green circle and then put it in the blue circle. If there's a slot free in the blue circle, they'll put it there. After that, uh, once these are full, I'm going to activate all of the trade platforms with the button repeater. Now you can automate this step. I'm, I'm going to go over that in another video. Or actually, I can go over in this video, I guess. And then once these things are down, they will finally grab uh, the copper and the aluminum. And I'm going to dump it into this platform. And this platform is really poorly designed, but basically all of the aluminum is going to go into the silo. And then all of the copper is going to go into the smelters. But then it's going to get bottlenecked because the smelters are going to be full. And it will have to wait for everything to finish before it puts in more copper. So I can prove this either by putting in a... Another silo here, or I can use smaller platforms and kind of redirect the arms into here. So I would highly recommend using the circular platforms, the small ones, and put the arms there and kind of position them manually. I'm going to go over that later as well. And then, you know, they'll auto load. The chem labs will auto load now. So it's fantastic. Same with researchers, research chambers. Anyways, once this is done, all of these arms will grab the aluminum alloy from this silo here and then put it into the trade platform. The trade platform has a medium canister here. So I'm gonna run it through once to show you guys what it looks like. There you go. Also, if you're wondering, you can filter what the arms grab by putting in the resource that you want here on this slot. And basically this is telling the arm only grab scrap and these arms will only grab copper, malachite and laterite. And these arms will only grab aluminum alloy. Again, this is my first ever production line I made. I really like the event because it teaches you how to use automation. Like the first step is to get compound and then put it into the silo. Right here, the resource silo directly. That's super easy. The next one is aluminum. So you're grabbing aluminum and then you have to smelt it. So there's another step. And then finally, for aluminum alloy, you have to combine two resources that you have to smelt. So I think it's a really good exercise in how to get used to automation. Now, once that's done, I activate this. Again, you can automate this fully. I did it later. Uh, shout out to Kippas Troll. And also Timmy Thick. But uh, I figured out how to use clock cycles. We're going to go into that in a different video. But for now, I'll just show this. You can basically use storage uh, sensors to automate the trade platform execution. Alright, I'm going to wait for that to come down. This is the bottleneck, by the way. There's a bottleneck here, so you can just use more trade platforms if you want. This is a bottleneck here as well, so just use more smelters and chem labs. All right, here they come. Now, here they go. As you're pulling it off, this gets loaded with scrap. And again, here, here's the problem. I can rotate these arms if I use individual platforms, but I was so in the mindset of using the largest platform possible that, you know, it's hard to kind of move the arms around. All right, now it's being smelted. There, the cam lab auto loads now making aluminum alloy it's gonna be I'll put into the silo Got 
Uh, it's taking its time there. There it is. Did it put it in already? There it is. All right. And then now it puts it into cancer. Oh, this is so neat. <laughs> this is so neat. Anyways, automation really changes the game. You can do so many things with it. There are a lot of things to figure out. And it's not easy, but I'm dedicating all of my time on asking you to figure this out. And there you have it. So once you figure this out, you know, it'll fully automate everything. Almost everything, I should say. All right, there you have it. That's the production line for aluminum alloy. And I'm going to load up my creative save file right now. And I'm going to show you guys ways to automate, further automate things. So let's load that. My save files are getting too big, so the loading kind of takes forever. My main one is just getting larger and larger all the time. I specifically had to build a new PC with 32 gigabytes of RAM just to load my main save file, believe it or not. Anyways, here here we are. So I'm going to go over the clock thing later. I, I find it so neat. But I'm going to show you guys the trade set up here. So Kip figured it out. Kip has troll. Big shout out. I'm going to have a link to his Twitch in the description below. He joined my stream. And he helped me figure it out. But basically, if you look here, you want to use medium platform A's or the circular ones so that you can, you know, automatically, I mean, manually rotate the arms. And here we have a setup where there's scrap in the middle. This arm is loading scrap onto the silo. And once this is full, it will disable this arm. And then this arm, these arms here will load the scrap onto the trade platforms. And then the ammonium is getting yoinked off and put into the large resource silos. Now these babies hold 400 of any resource except for gas. So it's a huge game changer in that you can have a lot of resources. And now it won't lag your save file. <laughs> so it's a fantastic addition. You guys don't understand. Uh, it'll make your game perform a lot better if you, if you convert all of your resource storage into silos. Now, once this is full, once this is, it'll launch the trade platforms and then uh, it'll activate this, this arm again to load scrap on here and it'll deactivate these arms. That's modular so that you can expand this as much as you want. Just repeat, you know, this layout here and you are ready to go. It's perfect. This silo holds 24 and it's perfect for three trade platforms so you can activate based on the status of that silo so that, that should give you guys an idea of how to further automate everything um i have some exciting stuff up <laughs> sorry exciting stuff coming up i haven't fully figured it out but yeah i'm just doing a quick ex experiment on using the automatic resource collectors the auto extractors i have them kind of diverting all of this into like an intermediate tray and then just being directed into a large resource silo. So there's a lot of ways, a lot of flexibility in how to design this sort of stuff. And these are clocks. I'm going to go over that in a different video because it's a whole different subject and not everyone may be interested. But anyways, there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching. I really hope that gives you guys an idea of how to do automation because let me tell you guys it is a game changer i'm gonna reload actually i'll just quit here <laughs> but yeah man i'm trying to figure out clock cycles and how to use them uh you can do a lot of computing with that uh making logic gates you know if i can make an and gate and an or gate you know you are pretty much set i need a not gate as well and then you can build any sort of logic circuit using those gates uh, if once you have those three down so that's my next project uh i was trying to figure out how to activate these horns one at a time on delay and, and i finally got it but it doesn't work perfect so yeah <laughs> there's so much stuff you can do it's exciting anyways thank you so much for dropping by it's a little impromptu video i usually write a script and you know make a guide but i just wanted to put this one out as more informal because it's a work in progress once i figure it out i'll release a a dedicated guide video covering everything in detail. 
but there you have it hope it helps check it out guys it changes the game i know it's not for everyone but i guarantee if you mess around with it you're you're gonna be amazed at how flexible it is anyways thank you so much for dropping by and watching i really do appreciate it if you have any questions comments things you'd like to see or for me to cover please feel free to leave a comment down below and as always catch you guys next time